Webflow has launched a lot of interesting stuff over the past couple of years, and they have just given us a sneak peek into something called Webflow Cloud. So they released that in beta along with a promotional video, but if you're here today, you might be wondering really, well, what does this mean for me? What am I gonna be able to build with Webflow Cloud and how is this going to look? So that's what we're gonna cover today in this video. Now, according to Webflow, Webflow Cloud allows you to bring full stack web apps into your web experience. And that sounds pretty awesome, but that's just marketing talk. You know, what does that actually mean for you? How is that actually gonna look? From what we can gather from Webflow's promotional video, Webflow Cloud allows you to do a couple of things. First things first, it allows you to have a custom application hosted inside your Webflow site. So for example, us here at MemberStack, we have our marketing site on memberstack.com and we have our app on app.memberstack.com. That works fine for us, but for a lot of situations, you would rather have your app on, let's say memberstack.com slash app. And up until now, you've only been able to do such a thing with a reverse proxy setup. Whereas what Webflow is doing here is they're allowing you to actually do that. They're allowing you to bring your applications and still host them under the same umbrella as your Webflow site. Now under the hood, all they're really doing is allowing you to, let's say, host your code, under your Webflow site. So that opens up a whole bunch of possibilities. And the next thing I wanna mention is that it allows you to create your own custom API routes and have them living inside your site. So just to give you an example, I built something last year called All the Rage for Webflow and that uses serverless functions. So it essentially goes into my database, figures out who it is, and then it adds some code to their website. Now, I had to do that from a completely separate domain. It had nothing to do with my Webflow site. Now, Webflow is allowing you to actually host all of this stuff inside of Webflow. And finally, it is going to allow you to bring your Webflow components into React using DevLink. So if you're a Webflow developer and none of this stuff really makes any sense to you, don't worry about that because we are about to get to it. Now, the first thing you might be wondering is, does this mean you can build full stack web apps with Webflow? And the answer is no, yes, kind of, maybe. It really depends on what you mean by that. So Webflow has opened it up and allows you to host your web apps inside of Webflow. What Webflow Cloud isn't is a new way to build web apps. So whatever way you've been building web apps in the past, you are going to keep using that method. If you build web apps with React, you're gonna keep building web apps with React. Webflow is just giving you a way to put that code inside of Webflow. So while in a sense you can build full stack apps with Webflow, you still need to build the full stack app in whatever way you were doing before, and then you can bring it into Webflow, which is big, but it's not some shiny new UI for building web apps. So Webflow Cloud is not really a replacement for something like Wizd. While you can, at the end of the day, accomplish the same type of thing, the way you'll be building is entirely different. So if you're somebody who was already using something like Wizd, you're probably gonna wanna stick to something like Wizd. But if you're somebody who's been building React apps and Webflow sites, then you can now combine those two in the best of both worlds. So if you do know how to code, you're that person who both builds React apps and Webflow sites, or even if you don't, but you work yourself with developers who do know how to code, what does this mean for you? Well, you're the category of person who Webflow Cloud is extremely exciting for you because again, it's not really opening up some insanely new possibilities for what you can build, but it's harmonizing two sides of what you're building. It's harmonizing your Webflow site and your custom application. So there could be certain blockers that in the past meant you couldn't use Webflow for a project where now you will be able to use Webflow for a project. Now, if you can't code or if you don't work developers, does that mean that Webflow Cloud is useless and it just doesn't mean anything for you? Well, not so much. Even though you on your own cannot utilize Webflow Cloud, you are probably a freelancer, an agency owner, or you work at an internal marketing team. And regardless of what that is, Webflow Cloud is still really exciting for you because whatever you're building, there's almost always a conversation first of can we slash should we use Webflow for this project? And especially 
especially if you're working with bigger companies, often the answer was no due to some of these limitations. So again, if your company wants to host the app on Slash app, they may have said no because it wasn't possible with Webflow natively before. Now it is. So what this means is that you can actually complete and win projects that otherwise you wouldn't have been able to win because Webflow just removed a massive barrier. So you can sell more projects, but what kind of projects can you actually sell? That's what I wanna get into right now. What specific projects can now be built thanks to Webflow Cloud that otherwise wouldn't have been able to be built? So to answer the question of what can be built with Webflow Cloud, that's the exciting thing, anything. Anything can be built as long as you can build it and then brought into Webflow via Webflow Cloud, which is extremely exciting. For example, do you want to build an e-commerce site, but Webflow's native e-commerce just doesn't cut it? Well, thanks to Webflow Cloud right now, you can host all of that e-commerce stuff under slash shop and have a custom, let's say, headless Shopify setup or anything like that. If you want to build a React app, but you don't want to have to manage two separate sets of UIs and two separate sets of infrastructure, now you can do that. If you want to host your own database under your Webflow site, you can now do that. So that is really the thing. There are some use cases that this just entirely unlocks, such as using Webflow for a headless e-commerce site. But for the most part, it's not so much about unlocking new use cases, it is about making other use cases easier. So that's the thing. Everything that I've just said was technically possible before, but it was all very fragmented. So for example, if you wanted to build a headless e-commerce site with Webflow, you couldn't really do that. You can use Webflow for some of your marketing pages, but then your headless e-commerce site would have to be somewhere else, let's say on a subdomain. And it's just not a great experience, neither for the developers or for the end users. So that was the reason why Webflow was being, let's say, turned down on a lot of projects. And now thanks to Webflow Cloud, it's now possible to use Webflow to build these things. So that's the thing, Webflow isn't usually the entire project, it's usually just a piece of the project. Generally speaking, that would be the marketing site. And just like with a headless e-commerce site, whatever you do in Webflow is just gonna be a part of the overall headless e-commerce site. And it seems like Webflow is aware of that, that usually what people build with Webflow is just one part of a bigger project. And Webflow, by doing this, is essentially saying, hey, we're gonna step off your toes, we're gonna allow you to build your full project, and we're just gonna sit here nicely as a piece of the project. And as someone who's getting a lot more into WordPress recently because of that flexibility, this is a really exciting move by Webflow in my opinion. So what does this actually mean for you at the end of the day, just to sum everything up? While no, it is not some crazy revolutionary way to build web apps that's never been possible before, Webflow is essentially taking up up the dam, it's opening the floodgates, it's allowing you and your team to build whatever you wanna build and keeping Webflow as an integral but only small piece of the overall project. So that's Webflow Cloud, I'm super excited for it, I'm super excited to see what you build with it, super excited to see what I build with it and uh, I'm just an excited guy at the end of the day. So take it easy, if this video is helpful for you, please like, subscribe and comment and I will see you in the next one.